Exploring the holy habit of serving, it's important to remember once again that Jesus is here both our inspiration and our guide. For as the Bible reminds us, he came amongst us not to be served, but to serve. Serving is right at the heart of what it is to be a follower of Jesus. As Jesus himself said, the two great commandments are to love God and to love our neighbour as ourselves. And serving is a practical outworking of both of those expressions of love. Coventry Winter Night Shelter is fundamentally about serving people. Jesus talked about serving, it's in particular that whenever you gave food to the hungry or whenever you provided a home for the, the homeless, that you are serving Jesus. I think it's only as we have begun to serve the community that you begin to realise that you're being church. The Holy Habit talks about giving to anyone who had need. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. And that's at the heart of what we do with the night shelter. As with all the other habits, serving needs to be practised and again its application flows over into the whole of life. So if we're in a position of leadership, maybe a head teacher or maybe a manager of a company or so on, how do we serve? Remember Jesus washed the feet of those he led. How do we model that kind of service-based leadership in our day-to-day -day work? And collectively, as churches, of course, serving is a big part of our calling. And so many churches these days are doing so many wonderful things in serving others, providing a welcome to refugees, feeding those who are hungry, providing resources to those who have very, very little. There's a multiplicity of different ways in which we can serve. And perhaps exploring holy habits gives us the chance to reflect on the service we're already offering and to see if God is calling us to serve in different or new ways as well. So it's central to who we are. It's central to forming community in living in a just and honourable way. And maybe one day we ourselves will need to be the recipients of that blessing and grace. And sometimes that can be a very humbling experience. Thank you.